The Great Mosque of Cairo One is the first reason to visit Tunisia, and let me tell you why. The fourth holiest mosque in Islam, the oldest Muslim place of worship in Africa founded in the year 670. This mosque illustrates a mix of pre-Islamic, Roman and Byzantine architecture. The city of Cairo One is the Maghreb's most ancient and holy city, a key place for Arab and Muslim civilization. The mosque itself covers 10,800 square meters and remains one of the highest buildings in the town with 32 meters high. The mosque's architecture is a mix of genius building techniques, marble pillars, that are all different from each other and Cooper chandeliers. By the way, the mosque has an original minbar from 7th century. It's exactly the century when the mosque was constructed by Uqba ibn Nafi, Arab general that was leading Muslim conquest of Maghrib. Since that time, it was rebuilt at least twice, in the 8th century and 9th century, when Aglabid governor rebuilt the mosque using stones, bricks and wood from Carthage and other ancient cities to make the structure more stable. And since the beginning, the mosque has one minaret, a typical feature of Maghreb Islamic architecture. To make a long story short, this mosque is a real architecture miracle, a time portal of different centuries. The time in Karawan Mosque is literally freezed in 9th century and remains the same when members of Aglabi dynasty determined the Salat time by sundial and collected rainwater using a unique system for collecting and filtering liquids, combining engineering, architecture, power of nature and surely help of Allah. This mosque will always keep the ancient prayers of parishioners and secrets of mosque founders, the most brilliant people of great empires turned to ashes on the millstones of history.